Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and welcome back to another episode of Mick Friends. Oh, there's a gold zombie down there. He's copying my style. So this is all thanks to Darkhawks' uh, skeleton farm, getting lots of fun little uh, armor mismatched. But anyway, so we've done one episode where we built the town center storage area. Still got to complete that at some point, make the top side of it, probably change the um, layout there that kind of looks chaotic but then we did the pumpkin pie farm with the hopper clock and dual edge detector now it is time for my house now i was thinking about uh clearing out this mountain that i'm on and making kind of an inside base but then well i realized i was making kind of a base and that's not what this area is for this is just for looking good and being awesome so i was kind of looking at this what I want to do is I have this vision of like a um, like a wraparound porch, single level, low roof kind of business. Maybe even getting some uh, uh, dyed uh, dyed um, glass in here just because that's what we we can run now. I think that's really cool. And then this, if you haven't seen what this is, I think this will be out by the time this episode's out. Um, so if you haven't seen this, go check it out. It's a little mini game that we came up with. I came up with, sorry, and uh, it'll be fun. So what I need to do, I think I'm going to lower this top level by one. Um, that'll give me a little bit more space, and we'll start with the wraparound porch with dual half or uh, stone half slabs, and then we'll go from there. Um, you know how building goes for me. So I'll just do some updates as I go. Um, I don't know. I really should just go uh, caving and looking for stuffs. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I need to clear this out, so I will get back to you in a bit. Welcome back here. Um, I was just... I, um, a few things. First of all, I extended the pumpkin pie tower, or pumpkin tower, because it really was not putting out that many pumpkins, because there's a small flaw in it. I didn't talk about it when I was building it, is... You have four of them per level, and if you have two grow on the level and they grow across from each other, they'll actually take the vines, and that's the maximum number you'll have grow on that level. So at any time, I think the maximum you can have if you're lucky is three grow per level, but usually it'll be at least two. Um, and so only having four levels, it really doesn't didn't put out that much, so I just doubled it. It doesn't look bad. I mean, they, I think they look kind of cool, and um, it's doing a lot better. The one thing you can do to fix that, I guess, is you can do melon seeds uh, in opposite corners as opposed to, and then pumpkin seeds, and then you have a melon and pumpkin farmer or farm, and then it'll just increase the output of all of that. So the main reason why I'm recording right now is because I was hopping on to continue building my house, which you it's far from complete but a couple things i built this hole because this is where i'm gonna put some lights um and this little guy got stuck in my hole and somebody else saw this so they put do not kill but i'm gonna have to eventually i'm gonna feel bad about it and then i got another gift from random because <laughs> i had to kick him out of recording the building game which you probably already seen and I think he's giving out these boots to a lot of people, but uh, Diamond Horse Armor, I think I'm going to stay with the gold on my horse, but I have more name tags, so hopefully we'll have a name for our horse pretty soon. And then this is the other thing um, that I noticed. This is a dirt hut. I don't know if this is a throwback to the the um, uh, live stream episode or not, because I built a dirt hut on our travels but it is noob noobs noobs may live in dirt houses but hey at least they have a house noobosaurus booch you've been pranked so but at least he he's given me a bunch of glass and i think he um some extra wood but i think this is the wood he just removed from the floor to put his dirt hut here and i might actually just leave this hut up for a little while until i'm done um yeah, I'll take it down. 
But <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's new from Noob, my neighbor right over here. That's Noobasaurus's house. Looks awesome. Um, we'll see how my house turns out. I'm trying something a little bit new. This is a fun idea I came up with. Is um, kind of like a you know seating bench and hooks. I've seen hooks be used for a lot of different things, um, other than tripwire stuff in building. So looks pretty cool. Anyway, I'll be back. Hopefully, we'll make some progress. I'm gonna use some dyed. I'm gonna try. I think I'm doing light gray dyed uh, glass, and uh, this will probably look pretty cool. See you in a bit. Holy crap, I just reviewed my footage and I apologize. I sound so bored and so tired. Probably because I think I recorded at 6 a.m. that last bit of footage. Um, I am going to make myself a new rule. I do not record <laughs> before uh, before I have coffee because or if I'm trying to be quiet because I sound so boring. I'm putting myself asleep reviewing that little bit but anyway coming back a couple of big things uh probably by the time this video comes out 1.7 will be released we're on the pre-release here and here's the house here's it's come it's coming along really nicely we got um i couldn't decide on any wild colored dyed uh glass paint so i just went with for some mm, yep light gray uh and i think it looks really cool especially with the house now i realize one thing i'm going for a kind of a beach house i think because I don't have any doors, I'm, and I don't think I'm going to put any doors on any of these uh, these doorways. It's it's a very opening and inviting house. So I'm going to do kind of like a sunken in living room a little bit here. I might expand that out. No. And then I think the kitchen's going to end up over here. I'll probably put some sort of railing around here, some paintings up. I'm gonna, I will do some colored stained glass in here um i haven't gotten to that part i've actually been finishing the storage uh basement so i can move all that down there um i don't think there's anything new really that i've done that's amazing design wise but it's interesting if you put your entire floor down like this you can do stuff like this where it's floating kind of looks like a bench and some uh, coat hooks uh, some other fun stuff with using half slabs. I think with the expansion of how many half slabs there are with, I think it was like 1.4, I don't even remember. Uh, you get a lot of bonuses. So, uh, and these are some of the, the new, the new flowers. Love them. They're so cool looking. I need to find some more for the rest. Now here's the basement. I've put a lot of work into this. A few things to note on this one. I was trying to go for something original but this is this is zoom avoids kind of design i like it so much i use it all the time it's in the town center um yeah i got like a little light above my uh a little night light just turn it off okay cat <laughs> say hello to sushi if you can hear him in the background get out of here anyway um now the one thing that i planned on is i wanted light coming in from these but if you put these stairs um, in front of it, it pretty much removes the, all the light that it puts out. It puts out almost no light. So what you can do is use carpet and you can hide um, you can hide uh, your light sources underneath the carpet, which is pretty neat. And um, I'm currently working on getting the item frames filled out here. So I got my looting sword for the um the cows and doing that um let's see i think that's about it this is kind of slow going it's it's about two weeks of uh working on this i don't know how often i'll be able to hold this pace up of doing uh one of these videos a week i might have to go down um i think for the sunken living room here i'm gonna do sandstone and half slabs and a checkerboard kind of pattern um, and then I want to put benches and umbrellas and stuff out here so we can look over the town. And, uh, yeah, so I need to go get some sandstone and uh, get some leather. And then i got to finish designing the layout here. Um, but I'm pretty excited the way this has turned out really well. Once I get this built, uh, I think the next video is I'm going to move... I'm going to be moving those animals into the mountainside with a cool barn cave cavern looking thing is my plan. And um 
Yeah, so that's it. So I will be right back, and hopefully we'll have this done. So I'm working on the house, and I had to come down here to get some more leather. Um, man, this is taking a while. Uh, I've been working on the house for like two weeks now. I uh, should be done. Um, done really close. But look at this guy. He's someone else is enjoying my uh, my uh, deck here. Oh man, my music gets reset. There we go. That's better. Look at that guy. He's just enjoying the view. Checking out what's up. We shall name him Edgar. Let's go say hi to Edgar. Um, actually, no, I don't want to do it. Because the house isn't done. So, we will be back. Fortunately, Edgar, I have to shoo him off the premises. Hey, friends. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't need to do the intro again. Hey, guys. What's up? Back. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, this has been a while. Um, I'm really pleased with how the uh, this house turned out. Actually, I was trying to trying something about a bit out of my ordinary build style. So back from I I was out here clearing out this area because I'm gonna make the backyard at a different time. It's just this was taking too long and I wanted to get the video up. But it looks really cool from back here. I think that black coal block looks terrible. Um, let's clear that out real quick. I don't really don't like that in there. I'm gonna actually clear that out for both of them. So let's uh, let's find my this and actually I realize I'm not completely done with uh, a certain section of it. So let's finish this up while you guys are here. Now, um, ooh, how am I gonna get up there? We'll do this. Yolo, right? Um, Okay, that works. So, yeah, this, I don't know. I thought it would look cool, but it doesn't. That's kind of how I how it goes. Sometimes I get these ideas in my head. I'm like, yeah, that would look cool. And then it just, it looks like poop. So that looks a little bit better. Um, let's go ahead and clear this out. We got this uh, diamond skeleton, or excuse me. We got a skeleton farm going. So I got diamonds everything i want i want okay all right well anyway let's let's give the tour at, actually one last thing before i give you the tour um let's see here do 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 there we go that was the last bit i don't know how i forget missed that so anyway here we go here's the tour and then i'm going to introduce you to the horse i named it even though i only got one one suggestion shout out strix um uh, but anyway so here we go. We got the main entry, which is a very large main entry. I came up with this one when I was taking a nap, and uh, I really like people who use like the toe, these uh, these hooks as like other parts of a build. So, and then I wanted plants in here, and then um, that helped me hide the lighting. So, got a little elevated seating here, so you can look out over the valley. And, uh, oh, you know, I haven't done any deck furniture. I wanted to do some deck furniture, some, like, lawn chairs. I might do that at a different date. I just, I um, spent a lot of time on this and really wanted to show you guys. And uh, here's the living room, a little sunken in living room. Play some cards with the guests and the company, and uh, people can st stand up here. Uh, got bookcases, the table, looking out over the valley again, the kitchen, which I thought was pretty fun. I like the little plants. I wanted to do the steel door, but with the half slabs here, I can't put a door there, so I had to do that uh, trap door. And I think I already showed you the basement. A uh, little bit of a change I did was uh, these these things to look like a supporting um, beams. Actually, the reason I did that is because some of the lights where uh, I, this, the floor is only one deep, one and a half deep. So like here, I had to hide, put those beams in to hide the light switches. So that's the build. Um, this is my house. I don't really have a name for it, but um, one thing I do notice is there's absolutely no doors on it. But, you know, we're in a desert. You don't need doors. It's, it's pleasant here all the time. It doesn't rain. It doesn't get cold. 
um, that's how it is. And we got a wraparound porch. Some plans for the back is I got to make a barn for my horse, which I'll tell you the name of the horse here in a moment. And uh, we got a little pond there, have a seating area around the pond, that kind of stuff. So that won't be next week. Next week is, um, or not next week, I don't know if I'll be able to do it next week, but next episode will be um, I got to move all the animals into a barn, which I'm going to hollow out the. Uh, the mountain that my house is sitting on and um, move them in there to look pretty cool got some ideas so here's my horse without further ado here is pony hey pony um, I did not come up with that completely on my own that was uh, mainly uh, doppelgamer and you see him in some of my videos but uh, that's pony he's nice he's a nice little hossy um, I gotta get uh, I gotta get him a buddy and call him uh, Pernonin or Pernoni, <laughs> but anyway, so that's it. Uh, hopefully, you found uh, it interesting and like my build. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you have an idea for a name of my house, I was looking for like a. I mean, the house design was I wanted to try a low roof line, pretty flat and wide kind of design. So that is. That is it. So this is Cosmic Friends, and as always, enjoy the game.